Hey guys, Brad Smith here with HealthLink. Real quick, I wanna go over how to install your Facebook Pixel on our website. You wanna make sure you grab it from your ads manager in Facebook. Either email me the HTML code or you can put it in yourself. So uh, real quick, this is what your ads manager should look like um, in Facebook. And you're gonna see the Facebook ad section. You're gonna see Power Editor Ads Manager Audience. And you'll go to All Tools and you'll go to Pixels. So it's right here, that's what you'll look for. That's where you'll start right in pixels. Now when you click on pixels, you're gonna to go to this page and it'll say your pixel. If it's your first time going there, you might have to set it up for the first time. So you'll just put it as your business name there, set up the pixel, and then it'll take you to uh, your code, which is the code that you send me. Now if you already have this set up, you'll be taken to this page. So what I do is I click on my pixel here and I'll go to my Facebook pixel, which is already here. And then what I'm gonna do is click set up. And this is, uh, after you set it up, you'll either see this, or if it's already set up, you'll see this. But eventually you're gonna get to this page where you'll manually install the code yourself. You can click on that and it's gonna pull up your code. Uh, it's gonna give you this little example section. Don't worry about that. That's looking for the header code for your website. Uh, what you're actually doing is copy the entire pixel code and paste it into the website header or footer. We like to put it in the footer. You can put it in either one. And then this is where you'll click to copy. And then, or you can email instructions, or you can just email it to me, and uh, you're just going to do healthlink at gmail.com and just send that over to me. That's pretty easy to do, and I'll get you that code and insert, insert it for you, or you can take the code yourself and do it. So let me show you how to do it on your own. Big code here, copy. Go to your site. You're going to see the footer section. So we always go to the footer. Find the footer section. 727. We're then going to set up an HTML code. And we already have it set up here. So H insert code, HTML code. And this is where you put the code in right there. So it'll say Facebook pixel code, exactly what you copied from here. It's going to have all your information. Then it's going to end Facebook pixel code. And then you're just gonna save it, continue. So now it's saved, right? You have your code in the footer of your website. The footer is on every single website, every page on your website. Let me scroll down here. And right in here is your footer. Usually you have your social media links um, and different things like your Facebook page and then your Facebook pixel will be in here. So anytime anyone goes to any of your pages, they will be there. So you'll want to make sure it works. You'll want to set up a test audience. So let's go to audiences. It's right in your Facebook ads manager. And then we're going to create a new one based on different audiences. So custom audience you're going to do. You have a couple different options here. We want to focus on the website traffic. And then let's do it for any page. So you can do any, all website visitors in the past 30 days. Sometimes you can be more specific. So let's say we want everyone that's been to our home page, right? For this case, we put it on conversion links. And then it's in there, boom. And then you, let's say we want it on the sales page too. So now anyone that goes to conversionlinks.com or our shop, we have a specific ad for. So we're gonna say homepage and shop. Create that audience. What it's gonna do is pull up the audience and then in a couple hours, you're gonna be able to see how many people are in that audience. Cool. So uh, make sure you guys let me know if you have any questions. Make sure you get that pixel over to me, whether it's through email or inserting it yourself. Set up an audience so you can make sure it works. A couple hours, you'll know if there's a couple hundred people um, that show up in the audience. You'll definitely know it's working. If it still says zero, and you know you did it wrong. So let me know if you guys have questions. Um, I want to help you guys with this. Make sure it's in there so you can drive traffic whenever you're ready. Talk soon.